Good evening. Okay. Right, so I'm going to do tonight's session a tiny, tiny bit different because we've got some new runners doing this on recording. So I'm going to do slightly shorter pose holds tonight, um, which will be quite nice anyway, because we'll manage to fit a few more in. Um, but I'll be doing them for about two or three minutes for the pose hold, so slightly differently. But let's start with our breathing. So sit comfortably. Okay, close your eyes if it helps you to relax. Okay, we're going to breathe in through the nose for four, and then we're going to exhale through the mouth for eight. So let's inhale through the nose. One, two, three, four. Exhale through the mouth. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep going with that for me. Do inhale through the nose for four, exhale through the mouth for eight. One more cycle. And relax, open your eyes. Okay, coming up onto your feet. Okay, we're going to warm up. We're going to do moon squats. So you may need something under your heels. See how you get on. So you're going to go into the squat position for me. And now watch your feet. You can turn your feet out to 10 to 12 degrees, but no more. Okay. And then you're going to come down into the bottom of the squat position. Now in that position, if your feet rotate out more or you come up onto your toes and your heels lift off, you need to put something under your heels, okay? So cross your arms, squeeze your fists for me, and then we're gonna inhale, come up, spread the fingers, reach back. Exhale all the way down to the bottom. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. One more, inhale up, exhale down. And relax in this bottom position, palms up, stay here. So if you don't have a mat, you could put a couple of cushions under each heel. Maybe you need a yoga block, something bigger to enable you to get down to the bottom position. If you still can't, then you can sit onto a couple of yoga blocks or a stool or even a chair. Okay, we're just warming up with this pose. Right, cross the arms again, squeeze the best. Let's go. Inhale, spread the fingers, exhale and down. Inhale and up, exhale and down. Inhale and up, reaching slightly back, exhale and down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, palms facing up. We've got one more set to get warmed up. Okay, cross your arms, squeeze your fists. Let's go. Inhale and up. Exhale down. Squeeze the fist tight. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And relax. Okay, right, we'll start with ragdoll. So we're gonna do two minutes, um, yeah, two minutes with ragdoll. So, those of you that know what to do, you can go straight into it. I won't start the timer yet, so you might slightly do over two minutes. So if you've not done it before, your feet are about hip distance apart for me. You're going to cup your elbows with your hands, soften the knees a little bit, 
And then you're going to drop down into this position. I'm going to start the timer now. Any problems with your lower back, then I want you to bend the knees a bit more, or you can pop a cushion between your chest and your thighs. Your elbows, your hands are covering your elbows. Lengthen the sides of your body as if you're reaching down towards the ground and then relax into this position. This is called ragdoll. It's a hamstring opening pose. Now we normally build this up to five minutes, but we're just doing two minutes tonight. And I want you to start focusing on the breathing pattern that we did at the start of the session. So we inhale through the nose for four and exhale through the mouth for eight. Now we're aiming with these stretches for an intensity of no more than seven out of 10. So that should be a bit of a challenge like you need to focus on it. If you're like, I can barely hold this and this really hurts, 10 out of 10, huffing and puffing, back right off, okay? Kind of five, six out of ten is like you could hold a conversation whilst you're doing the pose. Seven just requires a degree of concentration. But it's fairly intense. We have 15 seconds left. And slowly, carefully, just coming out of that pose. And if you need to, just give a punch out at the back. It just gets the circulation going again. Okay. Right, we're going to reset them with plank. So you're going to come into a plank position, forming nice and strong. Spread the fingers. And hold there. And then drop the knees. We're going to drop back into child's pose. And then back into plank. And then back into child's pose. So all we do with these resets is moving the body in a different direction, get the body moving again before we go into another pose. Okay, into plank. And then lastly, back into child's pose. Yeah, relax. Okay, blaster pose, which is going to feel weird doing two minutes. <laughs> okay, right, so you need your yoga blocks. All right, guys, you know what you're doing, so you go straight into it for me. I'm going to do two and a half minutes on each side, so it takes about 30 seconds set up. So you guys go now, and I'll start the timer. Get to do two and a half on each side. Right, if you've not done it before, you may or may not need yoga blocks, but have them there anyway. So we're going to bring one foot forward as if we're going to do a hip flexor stretch. Okay, you can see my back foot, toes are onto the ground there. Front foot, the ankle is slightly ahead of the knee. Okay, and then we're going to sink the hips forward. And then your eyes are going to have your hands on the ground like this. Okay, or if you can, you're going to go forearms all the way down onto the ground. If you're like me and you're somewhere in between the two, then you can build up a couple of yoga blocks and pop your forearms onto those. If you don't have yoga blocks equally, you can use a stool, you can even use a chair, okay? Doesn't matter. The only thing with a chair is the lower we go, the more we go into hip flexion. So you will probably won't get quite as much, well, you won't get as much hip flexion in there. Um, but it depends where you're at with it. We're not trying to achieve anything in particular, just get a stretch and hold it. Hi, well, Lily, you haven't been to class for ages. Everybody's forgotten you. <laughs> hold there for me. Again, focus on the breathing pattern. Inhale for four, exhale for eight. 
Breathing pattern helps relax the body and enables you to go deeper into the pose. Okay, we've got one minute left. So back leg is in hip extension, front leg is in hip flexion. The big hip opening pose. Thirty more seconds. And relax, just gently come in out of that. Ooh, out. Okay, switch sides. Okay, you're right in my way, Lily. Okay, right, we're gonna start the timer now. If you're new to this, don't go yet. Okay, we're gonna go in 30 seconds. So get the setup correct, back foot is on the ground, ankle, the front leg is ahead of the knee. Okay, and then we're gonna watch my hips, sink forward, and then we're either gonna drop down onto the elbows, forearms, or on your hands is fine, flat on the floor, or forearms onto the ground if you can. There's no right or wrong, we're just looking for the stretch, and then we're gonna hold it, okay. Right, we're into position, we've all got two more minutes. So the minimum time hold for any stretch that we do is two minutes. Okay, that enables us to be able to get into that stretch, relax, and the idea is to overcome the stretch reflex a little bit each time. I'll explain that in a little bit. So you job, find the stretch, do the breath work, and relax. On every out breath, imagining that back leg sinking down towards the ground. We've got another 30 seconds. Last in and out breath for me. And slowly, carefully come out of that pose. Oh, the getting out of the pose that you'll find is the toughest bit. <laughs> okay, we're going to go here to Sphinx pose. This is going to be our transition pose. So we're only going to hold for one minute. So onto your tummy. Okay, bring your hands just slightly in front. Oh, and get the hair out of your face because you need a haircut. Get the cat out of your face. <laughs> And then just lean back slightly. Well, hopefully you can kind of see me. This is Sphinx pose. You're really not helping with it. That's it, lie down. Now you can see me. So arms are parallel to each other, fingers are spread, and you're just leaning back slightly with the head. Feel a nice stretch through your tummy. Ten more seconds left. Okay, 
Yeah, relax, just drop the head down and then take it into child's pose for me. And relax, good work. Okay, butterfly we're gonna do next. We're gonna go for two minutes. So I'm gonna pop a yoga block under my bum. You might not need one. Try it out first and see how you get on. So soles of your feet together. You guys who've done it before, go straight into it. Soles of your feet together. And all you're gonna do is lean forward. Just let the knees sit down towards the ground. Lean forwards, palms up, relax the head. Now, if you're on the ground and you're struggling to get much forward flexion, okay, then I prefer to put the yoga block under my bum. Although I am getting very slightly better at this. <laughs> Okay, are we ready? And then relax into it. We've started the timer now. So just imagine the knees sinking down towards the ground. We're looking for anywhere between two and five fists away from your body, your feet. So mine are about three and a half. That feels comfortable. Again, no right or wrong. Just go with what feels good. Palms are facing up. And then just relax into it. Again, we normally build this up to five minutes, but we're going to start two minutes today to introduce you guys, and then you can gradually build it up in class. So this is also a hip opening pose. It's what we call lateral rotation or external rotation of the hips. Big inner thigh stretch. Really focus on the breath work for me. We've got 30 seconds left here. And slowly, carefully coming out of that, punch out the inner thigh. Remember, seven out of ten intensity. If it wraps up past that, back out the stretch a little bit. Okay, table tops to reset. Sorry, Lily. So sitting onto your bum for me. Okay, so fingertips are pointed in towards your body. Okay, you're going to inhale and then we're going to push the hips up. High as you can, draw up the head back, exhaling down. Okay, inhale, push the hips up, drop the head back, exhale and down. Inhale and up, exhale and down. Inhale and up, exhale and down. One more, inhale and up, exhale and down. And relax. Okay. Flamenco pose. So we can do the full pose of this one. So you need your yoga strap. All right, I'm going to turn my mat around. And you're going to be lying onto your back. So this is hamstring opening pose. All right, here we're moving around. There we go. We went away at the weekend, so Lily's like my shadow again. <laughs> she doesn't like it when we go away. <laughs> People that say that cats don't miss you, you see, they really do. <laughs> okay, right. So first one then, actually start in a sitting up position for me. So your, your yoga strap is around your foot. I want you to grab the strap with a straight arm, okay? And then we're going to go back and the leg is going to come up with you, okay? And your head is on the ground. We'll start the timer now. Okay, this leg is as straight as you can get it. Your arm stays straight, okay? Your other arm is just relaxed by the side of your body. We're here for two minutes. You should feel the stretch in the back of your leg, 
You might feel a little bit into the card, that's fine. Another little trick you can do is to wrap, strap, wrap your yoga strap around your arm and then grab your strap and then you can just relax into it a little bit more. I like to do that. And then your job is to focus on your breath work and relax. Your arm stays strong, but your leg relaxes. Now, if you don't get a nice 90 degree position here with the legs, then you can pop a yoga block underneath your bum and that will enable you to get into that position. We've got 30 more seconds in this position. Okay, now I want you to take your leg out to the side, okay? You're still holding it with the same arm. You can either have the leg, the leg may go all the way to the ground, or like mine, it may not. You can put something under your foot, like a stool um, or a chair, and that can help you relax a bit more some yoga blocks, but I'm just gonna hold the strap for today. You can use both arms if you want to. Just do your best to relax the leg. So this time you should feel more of an inner thigh stretch. You'll probably still feel hamstring, maybe a bit into the calf, but also the inner thigh as well. Also here for two minutes, one more minute now. Last 20 seconds. Okay, now bring this leg back up to the center. Okay, and then you're gonna switch hands and then you're gonna go across to the other side of the body. Now you may go all the way to the floor, that's fine. Now you're gonna feel it more into your glute. Feel a little bit into the hamstring, but more into the glute. And then take your other arm directly out to the side, so the opposite arm, no, same arm as the leg that's across. We're here for two minutes. And after this, we shall switch sides.
Okay, last 30 seconds here. And relax. Ooh, come back to the center. Okay, coming back up to a seated position. Yeah. Okay, let's switch sides. Right, we're ready to go back. Nice long arm for me. Three, two, one. Let's go. Ooh, good. Other arm relax by your side. And you can wrap your arm around the strap two or three times if you prefer. The reason that we use the breath work and it's the reason it's so important is because what we're trying to do is, oh, well, not overcome completely, but dial back the stretch reflex. So when you go into a stretch, so we pull the leg up right there. So all of a sudden there's a point where your body goes, nope, if I go any further, I'm going to injure myself. That's your stretch reflex kicking in to protect your body. Now with your breath work, the breathing in for four, and breathing out for eight. That just kind of pulls your stretch reflex, pulls your body into thinking, okay, we're okay here, we're safe here. Maybe we can relax a little. And it's at that point that it enables you to go slightly deeper into the pose. So the breath work is fundamental to gravity yoga practice. So that's the reason I keep saying, make sure you're breathing. Okay, you've got 30 more seconds here. Yeah, let's have two minutes now. We're going to go out to the side and find that stretch on the inner thigh. Because my leg won't go all the way to the ground, I end up having to use two arms with this one to hold the strap. Must have a really, really heavy left leg. <laughs> but I can feel the stretch. Last 30 seconds here. Okay, bring that leg up so very carefully switch hands and then we're going to come across the body 
and then take your opposite arm out. Now feel the stretch more into the glute. We're still aiming to keep that legs nice and straight. You can still, should still, or maybe still feel a hamstring stretch. This is called flamenco pose. So it's a nice passive pose. So sometimes a nice one to do after your runs. Not too strenuous like some of them. Again, slowly, carefully coming out of that pose Ooh, and sitting up. Okay, right. Okay, we're going to go into wide dog then for our next pose. So, again, we're going to do two minutes tonight. So, if you've done, you guys can go straight into wide dog. If you've done downward dog before in yoga, then I want you to go into downward dog position. If you've not done it, then watch me. Okay, so we're gonna go feet just on the outside of the mat for me and hands in the same position. Okay, now I want you from there to take your legs wider. So it's wide dog, so we're a good meter to a meter and a half. And then I want you to walk your hands in towards your body until your heels touch the floor. And then I want you to imagine that your chest and your head are pushing through your arms towards your legs. So you're kind of dumping your weight into your shoulders. Okay. And that is your wide dog pose. And we're here for two minutes in total. So again, this one, you'll build this one up to a five minute pose. Do your very best to relax into it. This is one I found really hard when I first started, and now I find quite relaxing. So if you are struggling with it, you can put a yoga block under each hand, one under each hand, that can help. If there are any of these poses that you're really struggling with and need more modifications, just shout out and I will give you the modification. We've got 20 more seconds left here. And slowly, gently, carefully coming out of that. Okay, we're going to go into block bridge. So you, you guys go straight into it for me. I will start the timer when I'll get us into the pose. Right, so if you've not done it before, you need a yoga block. Now, I suggest that you go with the um, this side down to start with. So it's on its lowest side. You can then move to that position and then you can go to the higher. So you've got three different settings. Start on the lowest one. What I want you to do is to pop it under your sacrum, your butt bone, okay? That's where you're gonna place it. Now, first of all, before you put the yoga block under, get into this position on the ground. Push your feet as if you were gonna do a, a 
flute bridge and then pop the yoga block underneath. Okay, and then you're going to extend your legs and your palms are facing upwards, and that's our pose. Okay, we're going to start the timer now. Again, you're going to relax into it. If that's too easy and you're like, I can't really feel anything, then maybe try the next setting up on that yoga block. So we're opening up the front side, the anterior side of the body. So hip flexors through the abdominals, a little bit through the chest. It's a very, very passive pose, so you can really relax into this. Just let everything go. So even in passive poses like this, I still we want you to focus on your breath work. You might not feel like you need it, and the temptation is, oh, I'm not going to bother. But what we're doing is we're activating the parasympathetic nervous system. So this is your rest and digest. So it's the opposite of the fight and flight. So a lot of us runners, we run around all day. I do. <laughs> in fight or flight, in activating. Ooh, sorry, my mic's got a problem. Hang on. Oh, we're okay. So rushing around, and now this is our chance to activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which enables us to relax, and the breath work enables us to do that. So even in these very passive poses, I want you to still focus on the breath work. It's so important that we take some time to relax. And slowly, we're going to come out of this. So bend your knees. Okay, then you can take the yoga block away and relax. Right, then we're going to go into pigeon pose. This is probably the last one that we get to do tonight. Um, I was going to try and squeeze another one in, but I don't think we have time. So you can go straight into pigeon pose if you know what to do. Actually, I think I'm going to use it. You can use a cushion or a yoga block. I think I'm going to use a yoga block. So... Front leg is in this position. So it's like the front, the side of a Y. So imagine you've got two sides of the Y going out like this. So you, your leg comes out at an angle like this. Okay, the other leg is behind. Okay, and now my hips don't fully go onto the ground. So I'm going to place the yoga block just under there. The yoga block might be too much now. <laughs> Getting better at this. That's good. Okay, we're going to start the timer now. Okay. One of the common things with this pose is people think that you have to have this front leg parallel to the edge of the mat. Okay, you really, really don't. So have it in a comfortable position. Okay, so you can see mine's angle quite in towards my body. And then from here, when you're comfortable, you're going to lie all the way down. And if you don't have a cat right there, then you can lie all the way down. That's it. You put your head down on the ground, relax the arms. If that's too much, then just come up a little bit onto your forearms, just find the position. So big stretch through the glutes. We're opening up the hips on the back leg. We've got 20 seconds left. Okay, 
And then slowly, carefully coming out of position. So two more nutter eggs. I'm sure you can probably see the leg behind. Okay, right, switch sides for me then. So, get that leg under and then extend that back leg, relax that foot down. So you can see there's a gap there. So my hips don't go all the way to the ground. So then cushion or yoga block, just underneath. Okay, and then we're going to relax into the position. Pull the head, relax the head. A little bit too much on this side when I go all the way down because this left glute's a bit tighter, so I'm trying to come up onto my elbows a little bit. I can really feel this one into my inner thigh as well. Got 30 seconds left. Relax, okay, coming out of that. Oh, punch it out. Okay, we're just going to do a forward fold to reset and then we'll go into relaxation. So, onto your bum, legs are straight, reach out for me and then fold forward, reaching for your toes, reach for your toes and relax and down. Just stay here for a second. And then just slowly, slowly get it up. Okay, right, let's lie down into relaxation. Okay, so your palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Relax your body. And I want you to turn your head all the way to the left. And then back over to the right. All the way to the left. And back over to the right. And then back to the middle. Close your eyes for me. Let your breathing return back to normal. And then just relax your body. Let your body sink into the ground. Let your body become super, super heavy.
Open your eyes for me. Okay, reach up to the ceiling, push up. And then bring your knees into your chest. And then come up to a seated position for me. And then we're going to finish with balanced breathing. So we're going to inhale through the nose for four, and then we exhale back through the nose for four. Okay, so let's inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale four, three, two, one. Keep that going for me. One more. And relax, open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed that. That was weird holding for two minutes, wasn't it? <laughs> nice though. Okay, well done guys. See you all soon. Have a good evening. <laughs> Cheers.